Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Coast M Fishing. Same long today. I have a nice little video for you guys. You know uh, how things are today. We have a lot of time to spend inside. So I thought I'll bring some of these videos for you guys. Uh, just to keep the channel going. Still some fishing videos to come, of course. Some solo missions, hopefully. But this video today is actually Saturday. And we're expecting to go to the rigs tomorrow. The rigs, yeah, I'm seeing the rigs 25 miles out with Captain Dillon to do some fishing. Um, this fishing trip is particularly important because we're trying to get as much fish as possible to fill our freezers as well as friends and family just in case you know there may be a shortage going forward so this video i'm sitting on here today is i'm going to show you what i'm going to be rigging up for the trip i have three rods um, two are for me and the other one's for my brother jelly uh, me and jello because the trip is basically me and him you know keeping that social distancing as best as possible we would invite some master but you know he can't make it out there so there's both of us and probably captain dylan and one other guy and that's it so we're going out to the rigs uh, the target will be blackfin tuna of course um almaco jacks snapper grouper if we get mahi mahi great barracuda anything out there is pretty good but mainly it'll be tuna and almaco jacks so that's what i'm going to rig the rods for we're going to set up both of them for tuna and one for deep chicken. Also, what I'm going to show you is what I carry for this particular trip um, to the rigs. It's uh, basically my full tackle for this particular kind of trip. I have three tackle kits next to me. I'm going to go through each one and just show you quickly what I have in each of them. So before we rig the rods, I'll show you what's in the kits and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, to start off with, I have my leader line. Now, I have 40 pound test. This is for the lighter tackle for, your, but lighter tackle for the tuna. 40 pound leader is the minimum I'll go tuna mahi mahi then i have 60 which i usually start jigging with um, because i'm still always trying to get a snapper on jig i don't want to go as heavy as the 80 that's to start off with so i have 60 80 and the 40 for the lighter setup of course key thing you must have your pliers to do anything this is the one cast i'll be going with it's 60 pound test um, this is basically for using live bait for the tuna or for the mahi mahi to throw him back Captain Dillon usually have, has a few of these as well, but I have my own, so I'll work with it, 60 pound test, and I'll have a hook. Now the first kit is basically my terminal tackle. Not sure if you guys could see that there, but I'll try to go through each section as quickly as possible. I'll have basically different sizes of hooks. I have a I have some regular J hooks. Um, a lot of regular J-hooks and of course I have some stainless steel hooks in there somewhere like these um, more alavi couple sizes in alavi I have a trio four that's basically three rigs out there um, mini J-hooks uh, number seven number eight uh, number six in that range um, some smaller ones just in case but that's basically it a couple small sinkers you don't really use sinkers out there much um, some swivels for connecting lines if necessary um, that's the basic terminal tackle you'll need for out there. Nothing much in terms of that. Some hooks, some swivels, a couple sinkers, not even necessary. And the next kit I have is my light or medium jig, and you can call it. This kit looks like this. So in this kit, I have what I think is very important for fishing out there for the tuna. Are these casting spoons. This one is about two ounces, I believe, two and a half. I have a couple of those in different colors. Change the hooks out in this one. Um, and of course, I have my bucktail jigs. A couple of those bucktail jigs. Um, a big spoon. And then I have my lighter jigs. Now, with this, are four onks. Some diamond jig as well. These are four onks. I mean, you can use this for the tuna. If you get down to the AJs, to the, to the Almaco Jacks, you'll get them as well. But basically, we use this for the tuna when they're not on top and they're slightly below. Sometimes this brings the fish up. At least that you know the fish are there. So a few of those are some spare hooks in case you need to change out anything. Um, this one is six onks, so a little bit heavier. And that is this light jigging kit. But the key for the tuna guys, I say, is this. They love to take this low. Next up, is a kit I hardly ever use because I hardly ever do this kind of fishing. These are the big jigs. Talking about big jigs. This is 200 grams. 
200 grams. I have quite a few of those in different colors. Check it out, 200 grams. This is actually where I caught my biggest Amgo Jack on in the last trip I went on the rigs. This exact one, 200 grams, dropping this down, you know you're gonna get some decent fish. And so when the current is so strong, you need at least that, sometimes even more. So I think I have some heavier jigs in here as well. This one is a monster. This one is 300 grams. So in case the current is extra strong, we have this to drop down. I have a couple of those. And like I said, in different colors. And I have some like this. If the current is, is good enough, we can drop this down. This is about five ounces, I believe, six ounces. This worked good on the first time because the current allowed us to use it. So this is my jig box. I have about maybe eight or nine of them inside here. Hopefully I won't lose all of them. I've actually never, me personally, never lost a jig. A um, couple of trips, a couple of the fellas lost some of my jigs. Um, I think we lost Captain Dylan jig a couple of times as well. But that's my jigging box. Like I said, I hardly ever use it because I hardly ever do any kind of jigging. Right, so let's set up these lines for fishing. First one, I have my Daiwa BG 4000. It's full of 20 pound test braid. And the leader, like I said for the tuna, will be 40 pound test. This, I'm gonna put one of those spoons on. All right guys, like for this, I'm gonna put this spoon on. Because I think this is the real Sealy deal bait for those tuna. It's two ounces. This rod is a tsunami tough tip, seven feet, um, medium heavy, line weight 10 to 25 pound test, low weight three quarter ounce to three ounces. Got this from Mr. Monkey. Nice economical rod. I caught a lot of fish with it already, and the price is not bad at all. So we're going to put the jig on. So it's going to tighten directly onto the leader. You know, my knot that I use is a uni knot. Simple, quick and effective. You give it about, I would say, maybe five or six, for good order's sake. Remember to always moisten your nuts, a bottle of water, somewhere. All right guys, so always remember to moisten your nuts at all time. Yeah, it sounds funny but you got to moisten your nuts. And I put my tag in. I can see the tuna are not that picky. So I put a knot on the tag in for extra safety. There we go. This rod is ready to catch me some tuna. All right guys, the next rod I'm gonna set up is this one is the Pen Battle 2 8000. Also on a Tsunami Tough Tip. This one is a medium heavy as well. Similar specs, got this from Mr. Monkey as well. Now this is for Jalu to use. I gave him this one because, so he can rough up the fish a little bit for the tuna. This is going for tuna. So it's an 8000 size reel. Um, I have it top shot with some mono. Um, again, because Jalu is not the biggest fan of braid. So we're just gonna, this is about, I think it's about 30 pound mono. Below this mono is 65 pound braid actually. So I'll do a pile leader for him. But just to be safe, I'm gonna pass 60 pound leader for him. So them tuna don't have any chance again, are we? So you're going to old double uni. We go about Sub 108 on each side. So there we go. For Jill to start with, I've given him one of these as well. Different color, don't have much in these. So, let me make do it what we have. Should work, like a red sardine. So there we go. So that's two rods down there guys. Now it's up to this one, is the big boy. This is what we're going for. You check in with. Now I have 60 pound leader here initially. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. 
I'm going to use slightly lighter leader to target possibly a more finicky fish. Put away this kit. I think I'm going to use the same color I used last time and got the big ammo for Jack. The same one. So, that is the one we're going to start with. 200 grams. We want to get down there into the big fish zone. So, there we go. My tying jigs, guys. It looks like this, right? You know, you might see this below here. I mean, some people do tie it here and fish it like that. But for me, the most effective, and I think the correct way, is to tie it onto this split ring right here. Holding the hook. That way, you're connected to the hook directly as well. So the fish has a less chance again away. Yeah, this is still here, but you still have an almost direct connection to the hook. Okay, guys, for this, gonna use the same uni knot to, to tie on the, the jig to the leader. Use it last time, both for the joining leader to braid and also for the law to leader. Hasn't failed me yet. So I'll stick with it. It's easy, simple. And to me it holds up well. Of course there's always a the better knot, there's well arguably the better knots that you can learn. So you can get them down, you're good to go. Sure to moisten. So there you have it guys. All set up for the monsters of the deep. Alright guys, that's basically the breakdown at my gears to go for shandy rigs. Captain Dylan has the line to drop down for the banking and that is about a 200 pound test with his 3 hook or 5 hook set up. Um, that is when to drop the bait straight down to the bottom for possibly again the Almaco Jack snapper grouper. These are the gears I carry. A rod for tuna or mahi mahi, a fairly light tackle and then one for jigging. The other ones for jello. I have my caster with a hook, floating line for live bait. Possibly mahi mahi, possibly tuna, and basically have the other gears to carry. And that's it. That's the gears I carry for fishing at the rigs. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you get to go to the rigs and I hope you get to see some epic footage from the trip. Remember, fishing is fishing, you're not sure about catching, but we're going to try. The target will be blackfin tuna, amoko jacks, snapper. If you get mahi mahi, is a bonus. So, guys, if you have been to the rigs, if you make trips to the rigs, let me know what you use, what you carry, um, what I should add to my arsenal that might help me out there. Knowledge and information is always beneficial. And it can help me out, it can help others out as well. So if you guys enjoy this episode of Coastal and Fishing, keep fishing. Always keep fishing. Fish on. Fish, fish. Big one. <laughs> Yeah, my God.